thing up. Side by side. Is that full throttle? One, two, testing, testing. Hey guys, we're here uh, with Michael at EV West, and today we want to talk to you about batteries. A uh, little backstory <laughs> about two months ago, right? Yes, yeah, about that, right at the end of last year. At the end of last year, you were able to get your hands on right. some very, very special right. cells. Right, we wanted to share a special deal of getting uh, these cells. They were no longer being used by a uh, OEM, OEM, yeah, and we got a large quantity, almost what over a hundred thousand of them, yeah, and um, we did. You started, yeah, we released them. We, released you them. know, we did a video right. and we sold them and stuff, and we ran into a few snags. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it was a disaster, right? So <laughs> it was a bit uh, of a disaster. You, we had a link to uh, Jehu's group buy, and they were using a new fulfillment center. Yeah. Uh, because we were trying to figure out how to handle this stuff. And yeah, it's a lot of orders, it's right? It's a lot of orders, so, uh, but the only way, you know, as my dad always said, son, if you want to do something right, just do it yourself. So, <laughs> uh, we're gonna, uh, Jehu's gonna provide a link yeah. to the batteries. Yeah, we're gonna bring the fulfillment yeah. back inside. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fulfilled directly by EV West, EV West orders yeah. taken on our website. Yeah, and so hopefully that's gonna eliminate all the snags yeah. that we had, you know. The, we took a little bit of while, and then, and then we did it at the wrong time, too, it was like, during the middle of the holiday season. <laughs> so actually UPS lost quite so a bit of we, we were patient, we waited, yeah. set everything up, doing it right. But they're back now, yeah. we're back. So I know there's yeah. a ton of you guys that are asking us to release them because you guys bought like half of what you needed. Now you need more. Uh, and there's a ton of people that are finding this still the video. Yeah. It's getting a lot of views and stuff. So they are gonna be at evwest.com. Yep. They're gonna be for the US only, unfortunately, because they're still really hard to ship them and stuff. Yep. Flat rate shipping, $30 per box. Uh, no international right now. Yeah. Um, bulk discounts and bulk international will take requests at sales at evwest.com. Yeah, for larger yeah. orders. For larger only, orders, yeah, work. because they are matched sales. So for large projects, large OEMs, yeah. uh, having this quantity available you know we, we really want to try and put these in the right hands so. yeah these are very special you can't find these anywhere else you can't find whole cases of these cells and by the way they're pretty right. awesome cells they're the ncr 18650 bds yep. right these are 3000 milliamp hours they can do five to ten amps I think well they're rated at 10 amps, amps right amps, and this yeah. is what's cool is you did the discharge testing and you saw a higher temperature than what was on the spec sheet yeah and uh you know, if you talk to some other people that have a lot of experience with this cell, they've had some heating problems as well. So yeah. I think it's fair to tone back the spec sheet 20% or so, do eight amp. Yeah. And you probably maintain 50 C at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd use Celsius. that, they're rated at 10, but I would use eight as yeah. a figure to go by. For and sure. so they are great cells for Fantastic, storage. Fantastic, real stiff, not a lot of voltage stack, storage, right? Storage or light <laughs> applications and stuff. We do have also yeah. the VPC6s, and those are great for EVs, because those can do 20. Right, and we're gonna, what, do those in another video coming soon, maybe in the next Yeah, week, we wanna do a project so we can like show that. you what kind of stuff we can right. do and what kind of power you can see out of like, pack right. out of those but and today get over the hump of taking orders for these yeah, yeah <laughs> we don't want to do it all at once so yeah. this makes it easy plus you've got your power wall yeah right? so it just so. happens that at the same time he's ready to you know that we're ready to start taking orders right. for these cells again i am ready to start taking orders for these again this is uh our pcb it's a power wall diy power wall pcb base you know rapid system right building system and uh i've been working on this thing for almost a year yeah. Uh, doing a bunch of testing because you know I gotta make sure that they're right or whatever. Uh, and the, I put a lot of them out there in your hands. There's quite a bit of you guys that are building systems, uh, and I was working on a BMS system because you know at the very least you gotta yeah. you gotta be safe protected. with this stuff, yeah, right? You gotta right, protect it right. stuff. And so we're there. Yeah. I have all that worked out. We've been doing all the testing. You know, I build a yeah. thing. And so today we're gonna show you how to build this stuff. Uh, and then how to put it in the wall. So this is what my PCB uh, battery system looks like. It's just a printed circuit board that allows you to put seven cells in series. This is what you get with the basic kit, right? You get the battery holders for the cells. Uh, you get fuses, uh, connectors, and you get four of these brass standoffs right here. 
So the first thing you do is you solder this connector here. You start at the P plus and then you add out the P minus. Once you do that, then you can solder the fuse right here. Next, you will start putting these guys here, right? Plus to plus, minus to minus. Flip it around, you solder all these things in here. At this point, your board should look like this, right? And this one in particular here has extra pieces. These are made to mount the board to a cabinet. These ones are not included in the kit as this is only one way to secure these boards to a cabinet or uh, wherever you're gonna end up in your batteries. All right, once you have all your boards ready to go in this state, then you're gonna bring your batteries. These are the NCR18650 BDs. And as you can tell, these are raw. They do not have a wrapper, which means that you will have to wrap them. So the wrappers look like this and the little isolators look like this. You're gonna have to use these on the tips. Here we go, what you do is you just put it in there. Next, the wrapper. Now we use heat to shrink these wrappers. Heat gun. All right, now they're wrapped. Next, we load them up in the board here. Make sure that the positive which is this guy right here not the really flat one that's the negative goes on the positive side of the board you can see the board is labeled positive and negative and it's a good idea to match the holders with the positive towards the positive and the negative towards the negative so let's load these guys up so there we go there's our battery module Next, it's a good idea to use these plastic standoffs at the very bottom so that they could be isolated. And then the brass standoffs go on top of that. So once you're here, now you load up the next one. Load up the cells, use more standoffs, and then you end up with towers like these, with several of these boards. Once you get to about 10 of these boards, it's a good idea to use a BMS board like this. It connects the power from the batteries through these BMS boards and then out through this connector. So you should keep your battery pack balanced and in case there's a problem, these guys will disconnect the battery from the load. Alright, once you have long towers of boards like this, it's a good idea to then put them on a enclosure. And for that, then we'll go back to EV West to show you the enclosure that I picked up for this specific battery. So today yeah. we're going to actually populate this box here. We just hang this box uh, right next to the other Powerwall, by the way. Yeah. This is the original yeah. Powerwall. They, they can see that. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we won't be able to tie into that system because that's a 15S system. And I decided to go into a more traditional 14S. Right. Yeah. So these are actually 24 volts and it will allow you to you know, run a Powerwall with 24 volts for like all the RV. A lot more traditional equipment, especially the um, oh, hybrid right. inverters that have the built-in charger. You know, we've run into that with the Tesla batteries. A lot of those hybrid chargers won't hit 12 Yeah. Amps, right? Yeah, so. yeah. So then, but you could also put this in series, like in this case, and then run 48 volts. So you'll be able to run like big time yeah, equipment that right. you can run right. an entire home and stuff. So. Right. Today, we kind of prepped everything, you know, and this is what they look like. We shrink tube the cells because you will have to shrink tube those test cells. And yeah, you'll have to use isolators and stuff so that they can keep them safe because they come raw. And yeah, you just have to pay attention to that. So here are 37 modules and these are seven cells in series, right? So it's 24. Uh, so each, this one is like three and a half or something like that. Yeah, yeah three, I three. three kilowatt. Right. Right, you add it all up and stuff and it's 24 volts. So this, box here it's it like just accidentally happened to fit perfectly Perfect. fit to these yeah. things uh and it's a bit tight right so you will have to do this like you have to load this yeah. module first yeah. and then you can put the next one it, yeah. it won't work the other That's, way yeah <laughs> so we have everything ready here and we're gonna load it up all right really there we good. go and then of course you have a bunch of little like tabs over here so you can put screws uh, and it's every like 10 uh, modules that you can do this so I have no idea that's just lines like yeah that's fantastic so I decided to put four 
of these BMS modules in here. Right. And they have three of those 20 amp uh, mo uh, BMS systems, right? So, the current. Yeah, so it'll, mm -hmm. it'll handle a maximum of 60. Of course, that's peak. You want to run them around 40. So you'll be able to run about 80 amps off of each side here. It's almost like, I don't know, 150, you know, uh, 150 at 24 or, you know, half of that at right. 48. Yeah. So it's a 1C system. Uh, so you have six kilowatt hours. So you here. need like four of them. <laughs> <laughs> right? To do some serious stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you want to run a whole thing. So yeah. then we just have like a cable. Uh, and the beauty about this, of course, is that you can just uh, run it from the top. We'll, we'll be able to run like the conduit stuff to the, uh, to the inverter. Oh, and camera making this cable because I just soldered these. Oh. All right, so here we go. Designed by Jehu Garcia. Dude, there's no room for anything else in here. <laughs> totally accidental. <laughs> so it does, I don't know if they can see that. It does look like those are uninsulated cells. Oh yeah, but we have right. clear insulation. And, right, right. Yeah. and it's, we should probably mention it's a little safer to use the opaque covers. So you yeah. can see uh, nicks and things like that. Like you do yeah. have to be a little bit more careful with the cell and use the insulator. Yeah, stickers on insulator top. I'm sure stickers. You'll provide like some links, maybe in the yeah. perfect quantities for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, because definitely you have to do that. You can't use these cells without. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, but we were just talking. I don't know if it makes it to the editor or not about the built-in fuses on each board, and we we're talking about initially wiring up the ribbon cable, and if you have any issues, well, you should always check your connections first. But if you have any issues, you're gonna. Just yeah, lose an onboard fuse and yeah. that's it. Yeah. So each each string has a four amp fuse here, right? right. So if any cell, if you put right. it backwards or whatever, so you have an output yeah. fuse and the parallel fuse for the parallel BMS caps, right? Yeah, and that's how it should be done. That's yeah, all kinds of fuses, very redundant fusing in these things. So when you're if you're making any mistakes while you're assembling this, it's just it's just gonna blow a bunch of fuses, right. and you're gonna be like, hey, that doesn't work. <laughs> but it's gonna prevent you from like plugging in a giant set of things and you know what I mean like yeah. and just have your cells go up and yeah. down. won't be huge or costly but it'll be annoying enough annoying yeah you, uh, pay, pay attention, attention next, next time, time. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's funny how that works out so then you just cover this yeah and the, the what we're gonna do eventually is just put a line of these guys in here we'll have to you guys have to make some stickers like some cool looking designs Ooh. Right? Let's outsource that power to you guys. Sticker design contest. Yeah, DIY Powerwall. Yeah. So there we go, that's a Powerwall. There it is. DIY Powerwall. Yeah. With brand new cells, uh, with a system that, you know, you could just follow the instructions and put it together and uh, six kilowatts. Yeah. 24, 48 volts, whatever you want. Yeah. It's got two cables in here. Of course, you could do whatever you want with this, but this is just how I did it. I put 200 some connectors, it would handle 50 amps. If you put them in parallel, then that's, you know, 24 volts. If you put them in series, then that's 48. So I should probably mention, like, we have these around the shop for a little while now, and the guys have been playing with them on the electric skateboards. And uh, we played around, we've been playing around with some of those uh, electric paramotor packs and stuff like that. So it's a really, really versatile cell. Yeah. Um, just do the math at eight amps, however, whatever output you need, parallel it up, and uh, yeah, it, it's it, the energy it density will perform. Right? Yeah, you don't yeah. have to worry about a straggler or getting some recycled cells like we've yeah. been doing. Even the Tesla ones are recycled. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. it's such a pleasure to get a just so factory, yeah. fresh cell. Same batch. Same batch. Same condition. So, you know, yeah. and they're and they're, by the way, these are not like they've been stored in some warehouse for years. Or no, no, these no, are. No, no. These fresh. are actually pretty fresh. They're coming. In fact, we have some. Fresh. Yeah, fresh. they're coming straight. Uh, in fact, we have another shipment, right? Like we're still not yeah, done we got getting some more, it. but we have to, um, you know, uh, stagger it, right? Yeah. Because uh, it's a lot of cells. It's going to be a ton of orders. Um, yeah. Yeah. You guys can right. can overwhelm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's and we're deal. already overwhelmed right now, right? Yeah. The shop has a wait list and the. Uh, we've got lead times like we've never had, just in general in the industry, right? Because uh, there's uh, somewhat shortages on copper. Uh, aluminum has um, been a little weird, semiconductors and stuff like that. So we've been seeing it here with EV components and 
Really? For the most part, just general electronics. Yeah. Wow. There's been some consolidation in the industry. Yeah. TE buying some companies and things like that too. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, uh, it takes a lot to actually yeah. ship sales. That's what I learned, right? Like <laughs> being involved, <laughs> guys, yes. yeah. it's not easy. Right, it's not easy uh, shipping sales. There's a ton of red tape yeah. and stuff, but these lots guys of patience. Out. Just have yeah. patience and understand that you know, it really has to be safe. Like we love doing this. We obviously love playing with the batteries and the electric toys and cars and all that. Um, and we just don't want to give it a bad name. We have to be really safe. You yeah. know, follow all the regulations and make sure you know nobody gets hurt in shipping. Or, yeah, yeah, it's got to be all safe. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so. so cool. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Yep. Bye. The, the, the links are on the bottom of the description. <laughs> a drag race? Let's do a drag race. Here's the GT against my uh, DIY monstrosity that I built. Let's see how that goes. A little shaky. This okay, count it off. Ready, set, go. What? <laughs>